Hello, I'm Ross Mould, AJ Bell's Investment Director, and welcome to the latest edition of Fundamentals, where I'll be looking at the ninth best-selling fund on the AJ Bell Invest Centre platform at the moment, namely JOHCM UK Dynamic. The £334 million fund seeks to provide advisors and clients with long-term capital growth, and do so by investing predominantly in UK shares, be they listed on the main market or quoted on the junior A market of the London Stock Exchange. Having met fund manager Alex Savides before, I also know exactly what he looks for, namely stocks that have fallen out of favour, recovery special situations plays that come with a but those that come with a quality overlay. He'll seek out underperforming or misfiring companies where there's a potential catalyst for improvement, especially management change, while the quality overlay comes from whether the company's got enough cash to pay a dividend and invest in its business. That focus on dividends does mean the fund offers a 4.6% yield as I sit here, which may also catch the eye of income hunters, although this seems to be partly the result of where Savides thinks the best opportunities lie today within the UK market, namely the FTSE 100. Nine of his top 10 picks come from the headline index, with Shell, BP, GlaxoSmithKline, HSBC and Vodafone forming the top five. They're all stocks that come with a plump yield. The outline in the top 10 is FTSE 250 Defence Stock Kinetic. By sector, JOHCM UK Dynamic is most exposed to financial services, energy and industrials as this chart shows. Key underweights look to be utilities and also consumer cyclicals like retailers, leisure and media stocks. This particular version of the fund comes with accumulation units, so the income generated is reinvested on a semi-annual basis and the ongoing charge figure is 0.73%. So they're the mechanics. The question is why advisors and clients are buying right now, and I think there are three possible reasons. First, it's possible that some advisors and clients have wanted to go bargain hunting amid the volatility caused by the UK's decision to vote to leave the EU on the 23rd of June. Savini's mandate is to go looking for underappreciated, underloved and undervalued stocks, so his fund may be one way of looking for those bargains. Second, the 4.6% yield is going to attract the attention of those clients seeking income. The fund does come with income as well as accumulating units. And third, the UK market has thus far, at least, proved to be pretty resilient following the EU referendum vote, although the spread of individual stock performance has been massive. Within the FTSE 100, the best performers up 60% and the worst down nearly 30%. This should be the sort of market where stock pickers can add value to advisors and clients who are unlikely to have the time or inclination to get stuck into analysis of individual stocks. Now that's of course not to say the fund will be immune to any downturn in the UK market or a recession, if of course there is one, and the market's worst post-Brexit fears are confirmed. This is the performance chart for the fund since inception. Advisors and clients therefore do need to make sure that JOHCM UK Dynamic fits with their overall investment strategy, target returns, time horizon and appetite for risk before they commit any capital. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.